Walking is one of the simplest ways to move your body and lose fat. Generally, when walking, you're using or performing at 50 to 60% of your VO2 max. This is an activity that almost anyone can do. There are different things you can do to mix it up as well. For example, if you can make it a speed walk or increase difficulty or walk with a partner or friend, you can mix it in and have some socializing as well. This is Average Joe Fitness looking to bring you practical advice and tips to help you maintain a healthy lifestyle. As always, please like and subscribe, leaving comments below, letting us know you subscribed and what you will incorporate into your daily life. After all, this is about you and what you will stick to. Stick around to the end for my bonus tips to help you lose fat by walking. One simple tip to increase fat loss is to walk faster or when you have very little in your stomach. Since walking is relatively low impact, you don't necessarily need to fuel up on a ton of food prior to going on a walk. There have been numerous studies that show where people eat a meal prior to walking compared to not eating before walking. When a meal is eaten before walking, Carbohydrate oxidation, meaning people utilizing carbs instead of fuel, fat for fuel is more common. Although both of those who ate before and those who didn't could lose weight, one would lose more fat while the other who had eaten more would not. My advice would be to try eating when you're hungry or between meal times instead. There have been numerous studies that show that those who are sedentary and then start walking will burn fat even quicker. This should be encouraging if you are not moving much currently. Further, those that walk before eating breakfast can burn even more. Even a quick walk can make a big difference in helping your metabolism over the course of a day. In fact, one British study showed that if you walk before eating in the morning, this can help you activate genes that help control your weight. Further, a study from Brigham Young University showed that you are less likely to overeat when you walk in the morning. Their specific study found that exercise, such as walking, can lead to biochemical changes that can make you less hungry over a 24-hour period. Simply put, whether you realize it or not, you will end up eating less. A second benefit to walking is that it helps to enhance your metabolism. Regular physical activity like walking can help to boost your metabolism, as mentioned earlier. While the impact might not be as significant as high-intensity workouts in a short amount of time, Consistent walking can help you increase your metabolic rate, which contributes to better weight management. I would recommend aiming for seven to 10,000 steps a day. A Fitbit or most phones can help you track your steps without having to put too much effort into it. The third point to bring things full circle from above is appetite regulation. Walking can help you regula regulate your appetite and cravings. You might think that by walking and moving more, you would be hungrier and eat too much. However, multiple studies have shown that people actually eat less when consistently walking 20 to 60 minutes a day. Further, walking can potentially reduce stress, which is often linked to emotional eating and increase the release of feel-good hormones that might help control overeating. Take the time to get up and move and you will find yourself wanting to eat less unhealthy processed foods. My fourth tip is to keep it fun and try to incorporate different intervals into your training. Try doing some brisk speed walking days. If you are sore one morning, either cut back, go for a shorter walk, or take a longer, more leisurely stroll. Another idea is to try walking faster for 30 seconds and then dialing back the speed for a recovery minute. Alternate this multiple times over 35 to 45 minutes of walking time a week, every day, and see how you feel. My fifth point, and, and yes, this is Captain Obvious here, but walking burns calories. Straightforward and to the point, walking even 10 minutes will help you burn more calories than just thinking about it and sitting on the couch. If you walk 30 minutes straight, and maybe that seems too hard to you right now, then burn calories any way you can. A couple five to 10 minute walks a day will help you burn some fat. The sixth, one of the most important parts about walking is that you can do it anywhere and it is low impact. There's no specific equipment or set area that you have to be. You can literally go for a walk from home, from the office, or even on vacation. This makes it the easiest, most successful way to make changes to your body's physiology. Even if you park a little further out when going into the store or get up a couple more times a day, it will make a difference. You can incorporate walking into your everyday life anywhere, anyhow. The seventh point is that walking will increase fat usage. Any type of physical activity will burn some fat to some extent. Walking is just one of the easiest ways to activate and use your body's fat storage. Experiment with walking first thing in the morning, before or after meals, and seeing what works best for you and, and your schedule. While fat loss can happen at all distances and speeds, 
Longer distances at a slower rate done consistently have been shown in studies to have some of the greatest amounts of fat loss. Some studies have shown that by walking most of the week for just 20 minutes, you can shrink the fat around your belly by up to an inch in just four weeks of walking. The eighth point is that while walking, by walking you will be enabled to get in some important cardiovascular fitness while still being able to keep muscle. It allows you to be able to keep your heart rate lower than other types of cardiovascular fitness while still burning calories. Many fitness professionals will walk first thing in the morning in a fasted state. They will walk slowly at a slightly inclined type of pace and rate and will see great fat burning benefits when paired with diet and resistance training. The ninth, ninth point is that walking is sustainable over long periods of time without having to take too much rest or recovery. It is something that is very doable to be consistent with. Stay consistent. Aim for close to 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity, such as brisk walking per week. To repeat from earlier in the video, I would recommend trying to get in seven to 10,000 steps a day if possible. Please remember that combined with diet, weight loss is achievable and sustainable. Combine walking with a balanced diet and this will help yield better results. Since you've stuck around to the end, I would like to leave you with a couple of bonus tips. First, wear comfortable shoes. Invest in good walking shoes that provide proper support and cushioning to prevent discomfort or injuries. Please try out different shoes and see how they will fit. Everyone has different feet from differences in how wide your foot is, how high of an arch to how much support you need. Don't skimp by on cheap shoes and invest in ones that will last. Further, make sure to rotate or get new shoes on average every three to five months. This has worked well for me. Make sure to mix up your walking route. Explore different routes or trails to keep your walks interesting and enjoyable. Even if it is a familiar loop, you can try going on different directions or taking a new turn. Even the little differences or changes in scenery can make it fun. Remember, stay hydrated. Drink water before, during, and after your walks to stay healthy and be able to continue walking. Always set new goals and don't be afraid to write them down. Use different metrics and tracking to determine the duration, distance, and pace of your walks. Gradually increase these factors as your fitness improves. Keep setting new goals every day, every week, and month, and keep finding ways to keep getting outside. In summary, try new things and get that out there and hit the trails. Try walking fasted and see how it works for you. As you take the time to walk, I believe you will see an improvement in metabolism, appetite regulation, burning calories, and will find it a convenient way to do so. I found it very easy and consistent to maintain in my own life. Walking is a low impact way to utilize and burn more fat. It is something that is sustainable and lends itself to consistency again since prolonged recovery is not needed. I hope you will be able to remember these and find ways to feel healthier and walk more. Again, Average Joe Fitness, bringing practical fitness advice to everyday people. Please subscribe and leave comments below so that we can continue to provide great fitness advice.